All right, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Tutorial Park. Uh, the last time we were here, we actually built that uh, coaster in the background. Um, so now what I want to do with it is um, uh, build a transfer track. So I'm still not finished with it. Um, this is some of the coaster house. I don't know if it's going to change. I'm not super thrilled with it yet, but um, I'll have to, um, you know, change some things up. Um, I, I don't know. Again, I... I kind of want it a little more open and airy, you know, for a tropical look, but, you know, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, you know, if we look around here, um, I still have to get to some more elements over here. I think I'm going to do um, a waterfall around there, so I'll do a tutorial on the waterfall. And same thing over here, I think I'm going to put like a little um, a smaller waterfall, like a, a little jet going down this rock path into this water. And, you know, here I just use like a, like a fake pipe and stuff like that. And then I figured this would be the uh, actual electrical box or, like, pump that does the water. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we just did, you know, most of the, the scenery and stuff around here. You know, nothing too crazy, but um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, but getting to the reason why you're here is we are going to make a transfer track. So normally when I do transfer tracks, I like to do a lot of realism. So with this transfer track, um, it will end up right around here. And I'll build the transfer track here with a little shed, and they'll have to be a maintenance uh, area. Um, usually when you build stuff like this, you kind of have to plan a little bit ahead sometimes, because, you know, these little maintenance roads and stuff have to get from point A to point B. So, like, if you have a big, you know, like, uh, facility in the back and stuff, it has to get there. Like, there has to be a way for these uh, maintenance trucks to access uh, a road or something to get here to, you know, maybe take the trains off or replace the trains with something else. Um, so what I did, you know, kind of quickly was I figured maybe eventually this will be the main area of like, you know, the deliveries and stuff as we keep going. It will get bigger. Um, but I figured I put the roadway this way and, you know, again, it's uh, leading up to um, what would be the transfer track right here. So let's get started on the first transfer track. I actually have three different ways of doing it. So there's two more. Um, we'll get to those next. But this is, I believe, maybe the easiest one. So what I like to do is basically just go to the coaster. You know, usually you either do it um, like maybe the beginning, like right before the lift hill. Or you could do it like right at the end on the brake run and stuff like that. So like that's normally where they always are. If they're somewhere else, I wouldn't know. I mean, leave me a comment button below with an example that, uh, you know, a transfer track somewhere else. But that's usually where they show up. Um, so like right here, I, I was planning on doing the track maybe around here or something and then having, you know, the uh, bay or something back there. But um, I kind of like the idea of doing it a little bit different. So we're going to put it right off here. So what you can do is you can take a piece of track. So I'm going to take um, this one right here. And I am going to... Oh, why did I do that? Hold on. Um, why is it... Hold on. There we go. I erased it. So what I want to do is I'm going to have... Why is it digging out? Hold on. <laughs> uh, tunnel's off. There we go. All right, so I want to build this way. So I want to take this track, and I want it, like, right about, I guess, there. So now what I want to do is straighten it out. Yeah, that's about good. And just, you know, you, you need a little bit of track to get to, I guess, like a little um, uh, little bay and stuff like that. Um, it's sitting on the ground, so I don't really think it needs a support. It really shouldn't be on the ground, but you know what? <laughs> like I always say, it is what it is. All right, so what you want to do is you want to get some of this straight out here. You know, we'll even add uh, another one. There we go. That should be good enough. So what you want to do now is now you figured, um, you know, it, it would come this way. And if they actually had to take it off, there'd be some kind of like little uh, switch mechanism here that would, you know, join up um, these these tracks. And then it would just go down this way, kind of like, you know, a real train would work. Um, but obviously that's not going to work for our coaster here. So what you want to do is you want to take um, uh, and the coaster again. 
you want to take this piece that we just made. So this piece right here, and you're going to want to um, delete it. Then you're going to want to connect this track back again. Um, why is it not lining up? <laughs> hey, I don't think it's lined up. Hold on. All right, let's just take this track and take it off. And All right, something's going on. All right, you know what? Oh. Let's take this. Let's get rid of that. All right. So we can still build on that. Don't worry about it. There we go. All right. So I auto, I auto finished it. It was basically, it wasn't letting me do it because it kept lining up with this. So now that that is done, now our circuit's complete once again. So what you want to do is you want to take this now and build it back to where it was. Now you you could either line up the tracks here, you know, kind of like this, or what I like to do is put it a little bit off to the side. Um, you could do either or, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess maybe just line it up is totally fine. And there you go, it's just lined up. So now, when the track, the train actually goes, you'll see, it won't go off to this because technically this isn't connected to this piece, it just looks like it is. So you can actually see, it's like got a little you know piece hanging out right there and see, it just went right over it. So that I think is probably the easiest transfer track you can make, um, you know, and then what you could do is um, you could build like a, uh, a little maintenance bay around this, um, which I will do off camera really quickly and then I'll show you. But um, I figure we'll just get to our next transfer track. So the second transfer track I've seen uh, before is this kind of transfer track. So what it is, is basically um, uh, you have to like take the train you have and you should actually measure it. I don't, I don't think I did. So this, I don't think this one's right. Um, but just pretend like these two cars in, aren't here or whatever. Um, and what you want to do is you want to take your train, like have the brakes here or something like that. And then when it's stopped here, line up the, tr the, the actual train on how long it is. So what you want to do is... Um, Actually, you don't have to do that for this one. Yeah, it actually doesn't matter. So this one's a little bit different. So this one, um, how this one works is basically, um, you gotta figure like maybe this track right here ends right here. Um, so this piece right here is its own separate piece. Now what happens is um, this these two pieces will be on like a rail of some sort. And what happens is um, when they have to take the train off, this track will slide this way into this spot and then this track will slide this way where it's not hitting anything. And then what happens is um, this piece right here will line up with this. And then this piece back here will line up with here. So basically if they had some kind of switch or whatever, it would just swap these tracks. Um, like if you look in this way, it would swap it to the right. And then again, this lines up with this and it would have this curve going here. And again, this would be your transfer track, your maintenance area, or where they would put like the extra trains, um, you know, if they didn't need them for that day. Uh, right here, I'll show you how I kind of build them. Um, you know, like the actual uh, rail part underneath. It's actually not that hard. Um, you could do it a whole bunch of different ways. I'm just gonna show you like the one I kind of do. Um, so you can take this piece right here, just the coast of support. Actually, is there a longer one? Yeah, this one. So you can take this coast of support four, and what you want to do is, um, yeah, I'm going to do this really quickly. Let me turn off angle snap. You want to just line it up. Yeah. So like kind of out there. And you can even do the front. Um, you're going to want to line it kind of right underneath the track. Now, you don't want to go completely under. You know, we'll get away from the um, uh, the actual wooden brackets. So, you want it just enough under. Because we're going to have to add a rail to it. Um, again, normally these these uh, coasters are higher off the ground. So, like, you know, this wouldn't be this low to the ground. But, you know, you got to figure you have enough room to this side for um, the actual coasters to, to slide over. So now we'll take this piece, spin it around. 
you know, we'll just connect it somewhere around here. Again, not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to, you know, if it tells the story, it should be fine. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to actually get the train rail. So you can actually go in scenery, western, and where's the train rail? Ba -ba -ba -ba. I believe this one. All right, here's a four and a two. So we'll take the four. All right. And again, like I said, this would be like more off the ground. Um, so it wouldn't be this low in real life. I just <laughs> did not plan well. Um, just line it up really quickly. So what you want to do is put a couple of these down. Because this is technically what these tracks would slide on. So you figure this rail, they'd have like some kind of piece under here. I mean, you could even make one with um, uh, pretty much anything. Um, like I tell a lot of people, the best thing you can do is look at real pictures, like real reference pictures, and just copy it. Um, but you could also just like, you know, kind of make it up. And if it like reads believable, I think everyone will be okay with it. Um, not everything, like I said, I like realism. Not everything I make is the most realistic. Um, but it tells a pretty good story of being realistic, so people kind of believe it. <laughs> you know, none of us are real, um, uh, coaster, um, you know, professional builders or anything, so, uh, don't let anyone tell you, you know, something's not completely right. As long as you like it, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Like I said, you could just do, like, you know, figure it's on, like, this weird track system. Honestly, I've never, <laughs> I've never done this before. I usually just use the thing. But now you figure, all right, maybe it slides on that, on the track and stuff like that. Um, and what you want to do is maybe we'll take this and we will copy it. I think there's two rails in here. Yeah. So group this as scenery. Let's copy it over. Um, again, if you had this higher up off the ground, which it should be, um, you know, you could do, again, all these coaster supports work well. Is this the bigger one? No, it's a smaller one. You could take, you know, stuff like this. Now, if you're asking why I have concrete here, um, most of the, like, transfer tracks will, like, the maintenance areas will have, like, you know, this concrete and blacktop. It's just, you know, a better a ground to support on than if it was just grass and stuff like that. Um, but it's not that the grass is wrong. I mean, you could, like I said, you could do whatever you want. You could even do, like, um, I've done this from time to time. You could make these, um, like, electrical boxes. So you could take this, change it to gray. I think this one's going to be too big. Yeah, hold on. Um, yeah, you make it the square. Might need two of them. All right. Take these. We'll change the color to a gray. And then you want to make a handle. So the handle, I just use the TV mount, the smallest TV mount. So right here, and what you want to do is spin it. Oh, I got to go the other way. There you go. You spin it this way. Bring it over for that, and then you're going to sink it in, and now it's basically like a handle. So what we want to do is take this, take these three pieces, make them scenery, and I don't know why, there we go. And we're just going to put them in here. Now what you could also do, um, you can... For more realism, you could just type in cable, because I have no idea where these pieces are, so I just type it in. Um, and you could take these electrical cables, 
like so. And sync these in. I mean, you could change up the electrical cables, you know, to different ones as you go across. It doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to make this fast. Uh, I figure one more. And again, we can make another uh, electrical box down here. Again, you could line line it up better than I am. It's not uh, lining up perfect, but there you go. You got you know a little more realism, and you could do the same thing. You know, like I said, you could change these wires up. You could you know then add them to all these going down with the boxes going down. You could even do um, you know stuff like this. Um, I don't know. I have the world on all the time, but You know, you could do stuff like this, maybe like, um, you know, electrical box to electrical box. Well, actually, you wouldn't want the front of the door, so maybe like this. You know, you could add a couple. You could add the drooping ones. And again, like I said, this would be a little bit more off the ground. So under these, I would have actually a little bit more, you know, supports and stuff like that. And then another one at these bases. Um, again, just use your imagination, look at some pictures, but now it kind of reads that like, you know, this, this actual track, um, like these two tracks here would slide over and then just trade place with each other. Now, if you're asking me how I built this part, I will show you right now. Cause it is, this is a little bit harder to do than the other one. So what I did was I have this this straight piece or whatever, and then you figure, you know, the rest of the coasters back here or something like that, not a big deal. Um, what you want to do is the same thing we kind of did before. So what you do is you, you take this, like, last piece or whatever, and then, you know, you, you erase it, whatever, whatever the piece is. And then what you do is you start building, um, like here, for instance, I'll build this way. So what you do is, um, you know, you could obviously make this smaller, shorter, whatever you, you build where you want, you know, Obviously, it's not straight. <laughs> um, you know, you can make it further out. It doesn't really matter. But you would just get this straight track right here. Then what you would do is the same thing. You would take this straight track. Um, and then you would just take this one. Erase it like that. All right. And you would take this one. And straighten it out. So now we have, again, we're not using this one now. I'm, I'm doing it quickly, So, but this is like the straight part now. So what you want to do is this piece technically would be now over here. So you would basically just pretend this is here now, but you would basically just keep, um, you know, uh, taking, <laughs> you could take it back here. Because again, you could erase everything you're doing. It's not a big deal. Am I actually climbing? <laughs> I am climbing. So you could actually take this and then again, same thing, maybe back up a little bit. And then this piece right here would be the piece that, you know, you would use. So here we would just take this. No, oh, need that one. And there you go. This would be like, you know, well, it would be maybe a little longer like this. So this would be the piece you had, and then this would be the piece you made, and this would be the piece that slides over and replaces this piece. So kind of like how we had it before, if that makes sense. So um, just getting back to it, let's uh, go back to how it was. It was like this, right? Oh no, this was the one I'm making. There we go. So you get the point. Like I said, this part takes a little bit uh, more time to like line up and stuff. But, you know, basically I made this one off this one, if that makes sense. And then, like I said, when you're done, you just connect these pieces again. And then, you know, you got your circuit and you're totally fine. And again, this would just slide over. And I don't think you want yellow and red. It kind of looks like hot dogs. Why does everything look like ketchup must be hot dogs? <laughs> but, um, you know, let's actually take... Um, 
Let's take these. Maybe not this last one. So we'll get rid of this last one. We'll get rid of the coaster. So we'll take these. Yeah, group them. Doesn't matter. So we have the kind of the same idea over here. All right, so these are grouped together. Again, you would make your own separate one, you know, per uh, coaster. I'm just trying to do this very quickly. So what you want is almost the same idea, but, uh, hold on. But with this one, um, this is probably also an easy one to do. The second one was probably the, the hardest. This one is probably the second easiest, and I, I feel like the first one might be the most easiest. So same thing with this one. You know, you'd want to measure out... Maybe this one should be a little bit further up. Um, actually, we'll... Yeah, we'll... we'll uh, <laughs> there we go. We'll move these out a little bit. There we go. This one I measured out a little bit before a time. All right, good enough. All right, so what this one is, is um, kind of like the same thing with the sliding technique, but instead of having this actual piece here that would slide with this, um, this is kind of more of uh, what you see a lot of people build. It's, it's relatively easy, but again, you can make it look really nice. Uh, same thing, this coaster would be higher up, so these would have like, you know, bigger um, uh, supports like up in the air and stuff like that. So just pretend it's higher up. But, um, you know, same thing, you would just make uh, like, a, like these sliding tracks again, you know, uh, continue the rails and all the stuff that you wanna make. And what this one would be is basically the same thing. So you would line up um, how long your train is and then you figure this is where the track would split, wherever I guess the break is and stuff like that. Cause you have to have a way for these to slow down. So technically this would probably have a break here or something like that. You'd need some kind of mechanism in, in the actual track if you're trying to make it look realistic where it would actually stop or something like that, especially over here. It would need some kind of like um, uh, visual effect where like it actually has the brakes right here. Yeah, so here's the brakes, the trim brakes or whatever brakes I put on here. So you actually have a visual uh, visualization that it actually can stop on this. So now this idea would basically mean that this track probably breaks right here and then it breaks back here, actually probably right back here. And what it does is the same idea. It would slide across on these rails. And then what you would do is I'll actually do this one in front of you. So we'll edit the coaster. Uh, we'll take this track and we will get rid of it. And then we'll build off this one. We'll make it a little bit shorter. There you go. All right, so we take this one now. Nope, need that one. There we go. Again, this would be <laughs> a little bit straighter, so let's straighten it out. All right, we got one, so now we gotta make the other one. Again, trying to do it really fast, so you would take more time to line these up and make it look way nicer than I'm doing right now. All right, up. Oh. Right, so now we'll take this again and we will erase these, straighten this out a little bit. All right, now we'll take this, now we'll take this, line it up, and there you go. So again, it would be the same idea that this, tra this track breaks maybe right here and they would line up with each one of these. Again, you would make these equal distance. I, I, that was the quickest you've ever seen in Transfer Track built. Um, 
and like I said, the track would break here, and then this track would be one piece and then slide. So it would slide here to get to the first bay, and then slide here to get to the second bay. See, now if you're asking me why do you have two bays? So um, it could be one of two things. You could either have, like, say they have to take the, the, tra uh, the trains off the track. You should or could have enough bays for how many trains you have. So if you have two trains, you can have two bays. Each one of these trains, if they came off, if they had to do something or like some kind of severe weather, maybe they take them off and they put them in here for the night or something like that. Um, you could also get away with if you had three, this would be fine. Uh, you would figure if you had three trains, you'd have these two trains, one in each one of these bays here. And then the third train would just sit in the coaster house if it was like, you know, completely covered and stuff like that. Um, same thing here. I mean, you could do this if you had two trains. You could have one train sits in the coaster house and then one would sit on this thing, uh, the extra piece. Again, that's only if you want to do like super realistic stuff. Same thing with this. These trains are so tiny. I imagine they would pull this off and then they could probably fit all three of these trains. Yeah, because I think it's three. Yeah, this one only runs three right here. They could fit all three maybe in this uh, maintenance uh, bay that I'm going to make. Or, like, again, one or two can fit here, and then one down here. So, I mean, that's just a little bit of realism stuff you have to look at. So right now, I'm just going to uh, fast forward. I'm going to make a couple of very quick uh, maintenance bays and, you know, just show you some stuff that I put in my uh, transfer tracks. Um, and maybe we'll even go look at the transfer tracks I've made in some of my parks. So we'll be right back. All right, and just like that, we're back, and it's done. All right, so we're looking at... I guess we'll look it over from here. Um, again, you know, you'd have like a little entrance way. I didn't go crazy, but you know, I just made like, a, I guess this fence would move and open and close and stuff like that. Uh, and you kind of want this area a little bit fenced off, uh, you know, just in case someone tries to run back here or whatever. Um, but here would be like, you know, just the little uh, maintenance shack. Uh, here's the outside, you know, you gotta make sure you have the AC vents and, you know, of course you need a hazard bar or barrel for no apparent reason. <laughs> Um, I'd have a vent on the outside for like, you know, fumes and stuff like that. Um, here's just a couple garbage cans and then you figure maybe this is like an empty, uh, uh, a barrel that they had or they used for like some kind of oil or lubricant or something like that. Uh, you know, maybe a little, uh, clutter over here of maybe some delivery, some parts or stuff. Um, you would need like some kind of generator for the power and if you could see there's uh, a couple of electrical lines going off of it and this most likely goes like inside through the wall. Um, you just got some warning signs here. So these if you don't know these are actually the fiberglass lights. Um, I use these a bunch on my Serenity Now Park and this is actually just the back side of the light. So you would just have this back side of the light and just you know paint it the red and the white and it kind of looks like a warning sign. Um, these here are just, uh, crit pillars. Um, I use these as, like, the, the ballards that they would use here. It's the crit pillar upside down. So I use these as, like, the ballards they would use, like, you know, if the car would come in and, like, didn't know, he would crash into the ballards before he would crash into the, you know, the, the power generator and stuff like that. Again, just another clutter for a garbage can, a cone out here. Maybe this is, like, the, uh the little uh, control box here that I make, um, you know, for this is like the transfer, the actual mechanical transfer track here or something like that. I figured this will be like the power box for it maybe or something like that. Again, it's just, uh, this is like one of the um, coaster supports and then I copied it twice so I can get this, this bottom piece right here. This is just a, a basic shape. Again, this is the, um, the TV monitor as, uh, the TV monitor holder as a handle. And then these are just the, um, uh, these are the, the fiberglass panels, uh, the space ones, and then you would just sink them in and then paint one green, paint one red for like, you know, a uh, um, stop and a start. Uh, and then coming over here, this is actually just a screen, so you could have this open if you want. If you don't want it open, I would suggest using a TV screen, and then this is just um, the wall shutter wide, and then it looks like this like corrugated, um, um, basically like corrugated sh shutter that would come down and close it off from the weather. Um, but then going inside, we have our door here. Well, actually also, you know, I just, you know, have one of these cars, you know, you figure like you'd have one of these cars here, maybe even, um, I'll do this real quick. Um, you would have, um, where is it? It's right here somewhere. Hold on, hold on, here it is. 
just sink it down. Maybe you'd have one of these um, um, forklifts here, and these are the forklifts I made. It's a little, little low. All right, we'll raise it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, good enough. So these are the forklifts I made. It's a Dippin' Dodds 3000. I put these in all my parks, so if you need a forklift, I don't think you're going to get too much of a better forklift than this. It's, you know, completely detailed and everything. But, you know, you could use this for, like, a backstage for them to use, like, heavy equipment or maybe, like, getting the, uh, um, you know, the actual cars off the track or maybe they're bringing a new piece of track in. They would use something like that. Um, all right, now getting in here, you have your door. I always make a door on the inside as well. Um, just so then, you know, you'd have a, uh, it would be a door that they would leave out of. And then you would just add clutter here and there. So here's some like cable wire, maybe some hangers, uh, box. These are more like, uh, breaker boxes or big electrical boxes. Again, with the line going, uh, up and out and then coming down here to, you know, um, you know, maybe the computer or something like that. You got your toolbox here. Um, again, more like oil drums or lubricant drums or whatever it is. Uh, more cable sitting here, um, and then you would just have these like, um, uh, you know, like, um, what are these, like, uh, you know, like lift the cars off the track, I am totally spacing out on what it's called, uh, oh man, it's, I'm going to think of it the second I get off, but you know what I should have did here is I should have actually taken this and then copied it, so we'll do that real quick. Again, so you can see it on the inside. There we go, perfect. Um, you know, and then you have some lights. You just got some of this flooring here. Um, it's just the metal walkway. And then I just put some concrete down for the inside. Ooh, sorry. Um, I could actually take this roof off. I made it a separate piece. So let's get this out of the way. And, you know, just on the top, I kind of just make these, like, um, you know, like the wooden cross beams going, you know, here and there. You can make them smaller. You don't really have to make them. I just do it for more detail. Um, you could string the lights off these if you wanted to and you didn't want to get it off that. Um, but, again, it just, you know, gives it a little bit more detail. And then if we just uh, transfer over to nighttime, you could see, um, you know, I dull out a lot of these lights. I don't really like them that bright. So instead of being like the really white color, it's actually this gray color right here. So it's almost a black. It's like a dark gray. And I just think it gives a really good look. Even in here, it's not like, you know, overpowering with so much light. And there's four spotlights in here. So, you know, it's really not even that bad, even though um, there's four in here. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's this one. Um, there we go, put that back down. You know, and then, oh, the top, the top is just a corrugated roof. You know, obviously they wouldn't spend a lot of money on, on like, uh, these little maintenance bays like this. So you wouldn't theme it and stuff like that. Or, you know, it wouldn't be, uh, you know, like some marble or, you know, crazy tile roof or whatever it is. So you just put the corrugated roof on, looks pretty good. You know, just, uh, something down the center to break it up. And then the walls, you know, you could use anything. This is like the painted wood. You could use like the rusted wood, the rustic wood. You could use painted wood, change different colors. You could use the the metal alloy um, uh, wall, or you could use like the, the concrete wall if you want. But I would suggest keeping it to like a minimum so, you know, it looks a little bit more realistic than if it was, um, you know, uh, all themed out. I mean, obviously, if you have a theme park and you could see it from somewhere, of course, you could, you know, theme it out and stuff like that. So... Um, you know, maybe we'll go look at one of those right now. So let's just, um, let's transfer over to one of my other parks and I'll show you another one of these transfer tracks. All right. So here's the next example of another transfer track. So this is the second type of track that I made earlier. Um, as you can see, it's got the same idea where this would slide over and stuff like that. So you have all your, you know, your, um, your rails and stuff like that. This again is a lot more themed out with, you got a control panel here. Um, you got these drive tires. I don't think I need all these four drive tires, but um, maybe maybe I'll change that. I just didn't really think about it. Same thing with these. I don't think I need a thousand drive tires. Maybe a couple will be fine. Um, but it's the same kind of structure that I made earlier. This one has a little more uh, bracing with it, with this bar going across, and then you just got some custom support, um, custom uh, custer, bleh, coaster supports uh, down here into the uh, actual concrete. You know, same thing with this side over here. 
And then, um, again, you got these little um, uh, boxes, electrical boxes here. And then I just made some boxes here for the, the actual wires that go across in the middle. Um, you know, then here I just added this wood and stuff like that, like a kind of a platform that uh, can move. Uh, all this, this railing is all custom made because, you know, if you put on the, um, uh, the track supports and stuff like this, then it'll have all these down here. So you don't want that. When you make these, you don't want any of the catwalks or supports on. So then you could actually make um, the actual supports uh, with all this stuff here in the rails. Um, so then it would be the same thing I did before. It would come over here, and then here you got like, you know, a little uh, maintenance bay. It's not that great. This one's like relatively, you know, easy. Um, just a little clutter here and there. You got a door coming in. Uh, these are kind of like, I figured like the stopper, you know, is an older coaster. So, you know, the wooden coaster would just like come here. Maybe this would stop it from, you know, coming off the track. Um, and then, you know, just uh, some of these like pulleys and stuff up here to like uh, pull the train off the track or something they had to do. And again, this one is a little bit higher up. So you have your door here and then you would have your steps leading up to the second floor. Um, and then down here, I just made like an electrical room. Nothing, you know, crazy. But you have your um, uh, big generator here, maybe some flammable oils and stuff here. And then, you know, just down here is just some extra, like, clutter and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, that would be, like, this, like, backstage maintenance area. And the track goes all the way around it. You got a truck over here with just some extra clutter. Um, and then they would, you know, everything's completely fenced off, like I said before. And they would get through this door here, which is on the exit of this coaster here. So, yeah, we got, I guess, one more to look at. And it would have been the third example, the Arrow um, coaster. I have another example. It's a, like a B&M uh, in, invert. So it's about the same idea as the third one I built, but it's uh, completely finished. So let's go take a look at that one. All right, and here's the final transfer track we'll look at. So this one is like the third transfer track I built uh, previously, um, but this is a hanging coaster. So as you can see, we have the one um, uh, track going this way, and then we have the rails underneath, um, you know, just some wire for clutter and stuff like that. Again, I just made like a control box and stuff out here. And if we actually come out, this is like a two floor transfer track. So um, this is actually in my Serenity Now Park. If you want to take a look at how I built this, I, you know, I built this on screen and stuff like that. And this has a whole story. So check out Serenity Now. But uh, if we go in here, it's the same thing. We have like, you know, the AC unit, some lights. Some of these ballards, so you don't back into the uh, the support. Uh, maybe some caution, um, you know, lines on the ground. Here's a big um, uh, garage door here for maybe they're pulling track in and out of, and the cars in and out of. Um, so we'll go inside here, and we have like a little office. Here you got a couple of the generators with some lines, a couple of these electrical boxes, some clutter. A guy who works here. Um, another garage door. This one leads out to underneath the transfer track. So under here we have some more clutter with just like, you know, some other barrels maybe they had in a delivery. And then here's an actual track piece. I do this from time to time. Um, you could just do this um, very easy. Just, you know, keep continuing the track like you do with the transfer track and then just put another piece of track somewhere else. You could put this on uh, pallets or something like this. This was a little different because it's the hanging track. So I had to figure out some kind of like bracket to like hang it from. Um, but you could like, you know, twist it upside down and then put it on a piece of pallet or wood or something and it would look fine um and then coming up here you got your stairs here again here's a vent that leads uh outside and then here is your one garage door with your uh two transfer track lines um i got like this pipe going here um don't know if it's an ac pipe or what but it looks interesting um then you know i just got some wires and then you have to in this track you have to make like some custom supports uh, so these are all custom supports up here holding it up and then I just made like a little bit different so uh, That's my dog shaking. Here's a uh, you know, just like a workbench where the guy was working on some pieces some tools uh, Toolbox uh, again with this is probably to control the actual uh, Transfer track it rolling side to side, um, you know on the rails and then this side over here same thing got a computer and then I usually do my lights um, these actually work the lights on the ride and this is the actually photo uh, the photo thing that's actually on the ride I usually put them in here so you know I know where they are um, but then like I said you know leading out here if we come out here you can see this is like the overhead of the actual transfer track so 
you know, it comes in here, and it's the same thing, it's just opposite of the arrow uh, coaster that I had third, so this is just on top, because it's a hanging coaster. But otherwise, the arrow one that I had is, is you know, relatively the same. It just, this one has one bay instead of the um, uh, two that I made. So you could do it either way. And then this one, like a little bit more themed. I got like, a, you know, an air a air duct unit, like an HVAC system up here, you could see. Um, again, this one is a lot more themed because, um, oh, let me, trying to make everyone sick. It's out in the open. So this is actually right there. Um, so you could see it from here. So I had to theme it a little bit so it actually like blends in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that should wrap up this video. Um, if you got any more questions or any more ideas, uh, for more uh, tutorials, uh, just leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel. All the tutorials, the park builds, all the spotlights I do, it really helps me out. Um, and that's about it. I guess uh, I'll just see you in the next one.